So you came after all. How can you be so cruel? I... I stood by and let Milliam die. I'm still going along with the Great Twilight. Don't you dare forgive me. If you don't hate me, how am I supposed to... Come on now, Claire. You know that isn't fair. to make a mistake like that again. Even with what's happened, I'm still an iron blood. I've got to look out for you too. Tomorrow, we'll finally settle things once and for all. With you, Lecter, Rufus, Gramps, and that newbie prince too. Me and Reen will get through to you guys. All right, if you insist. I'll be waiting for you. That's my promise as a knight and guardian of the Great Twilight and a pawn of the rivalries. When next we meet, I won't show any mercy.
Mm, what a wonderful breeze. Wow, this is an amazing view. I can see Michelam, the Pantagruel, and even Crossbell City. Bringing me here to sober up. My, you really know how to show a girl a good time. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. I simply got the idea when we landed here this evening. More to the point, I had anticipated your inevitable inebriation, my dear Shara. <laughs> you really do know me. This is nice. I miss those days when we were able to share drinks together. But you've been doing a fantastic job ever since coming back to the Empire. Though they call you debaucherous prince, you never let it get to you. You've been there for your family. Hell, the whole Empire. Well, I've never been without people supporting me. Mueller, my parents, Alfin, Class Seven, the Viscount, the Erebonian Bracers. I can't forget Lloyd's team. And, of course, Estelle and Joshua. But most of all, you. No, I couldn't do a thing to help you. Sure, I held on to the artifact for you and acted as a liaison. But I couldn't stop the Courageous from being destroyed. I couldn't keep you safe. I'm sorry, Olivier. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. It must have been painful. You've suffered so much. Now that you're here, all that pain is but a distant memory. We'll be there tomorrow. Together. That's all that matters. <gasps> but... No, you're right. Just leave it to me. The Silver Streak will light the way for your radiant wings. I'll be counting on it. And it may not be fair to ask you at a time like this, yet. Uh. If we can claim victory in tomorrow's battle and stop the Great Twilight, if we can put out the fires of war and bring peace to this land once more, would you do me the honor? of becoming my wife. Rain. I wasn't sure you'd come. I, I know, but I had no idea what to think. My heart's been racing the whole time. You asked to meet, just the two of us, already knowing my feelings for you. And I know I'm far from the only one who has such feelings. There are others more charming and more graceful. Considering that... There's no way I wouldn't be this flustered. D don't laugh at me! I can't claim the same level of expertise in romance as I can with the blade. But like I said, I will neither run nor hide from my feelings. If you have your answer, I ask that you give it.
Reen. Is this really happening? Or is this just some beautiful vision? A trick of the countless lights around us? How many times have you done this before? You didn't give me a chance. My face feels like it's on fire. The, those hugs were simply to mark happy reunions. An embrace is a gesture of affection, sure, but a kiss... A kiss is... Very well. I suppose I'll let you get away with it this once. But in return, you have to stay here. With me. Just a little while longer. <laughs> Bold as ever. <laughs>